Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 16th, 2024. You might be able to hear this in my voice. I'm having a, a terrible allergy problem this morning, so I'm kind of slow on getting things done here today. Um, consequently, there will not be a blog um, today. So I apologize, and if I apologize for the voice and the way I may sound um, uh, coming across on the video, um, do apologize for that. <clears throat> Let's take a look real quickly at what happened overnight. Um, Asian markets were uh, strongly bullish overnight last night with the Nikkei surging 1.39% um, or 534 points and Hong Kong really surging uh, last night 302 points up 1.59% on the confidence of the um, <clears throat> less than expected inflation data from the U.S. yesterday, which showed U.S. inflation growing at 3.4%. Let's take a look at European markets this morning. Complete reversal here. European markets are mostly lower this morning, um, feeling a little bit on the bearish side due to uh, some earnings reports. So not looking so happy over there at the moment with the DAX, FTSE, and CAC all slightly lower. And then here in the U.S., we've got futures that are relatively flat. And NASDAQ is trying the hardest, um, being up 0.14%. But everything else is um, um, sub half a percent um, this morning as we head into today's open. Let's take a look at what's happening in oil this morning. Oil had a good rebound back up yesterday due to those uh, numbers that we saw from the petroleum status report yesterday. But they're uh, moving back down just a little tiny bit this morning. Oil's down 33 cents at 78.30 a barrel. Brent is down 34 cents at 82.41 a barrel in natural gas being down in just a little over a penny this morning. If we take a look at our <clears throat> precious metals, gold is just a little bit down this morning after a roaring day yesterday to the upside. Right now we've got gold down $7 an ounce, but silver, copper, platinum are all higher. And also palladium had a really big day yesterday and it's just ever so slightly lower this morning. If we take a look at crypto here this morning, uh, crypto, uh, well, Bitcoin had a massive day yesterday, pushing up strongly on the weakening dollar. Um, but they're a little bit softer here this morning, up 161 a coin. And there is a mix across those currencies here this morning. If we take a look at bonds this morning, bonds, well, bonds are continuing to soften, but there's a little bit of a mix here today. Um, they've ticked a little bit higher in a couple places. Two-year bond is at 4.74%. The 10-year has dropped dramatically to 4.34%, and the 10-year has eased off at 4.49%. Still running the longest bond inversion in history, uh, but it doesn't seem to be bothering the markets at all. Let's take um, all that into account. Let's settle in, let's buckle up, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today as we um, prepare for this Thursday. First off, clearly um, a big strong move here in the Dow. Um, diamonds full on breakout here in the, in the Dow. And we surged right at the um, end of the day um, yesterday, surging back to the upside. Um, uh, pushing us through uh, those resistance levels in the chart. So very, very strong performance um, in the markets yesterday, pushing up. So new record highs in the diamonds, but which means that 
blue sky above there's no resistance level up there in the diamonds at all if the bears were to find some kind of inspiration um, here for today then what we would be watching let's get rid of that downtrend line what we would be watching for is maybe a pullback to test the support highs in the chart if the bears were to engage if they um, push further than that then I would suggest maybe coming down to the bottom of that candle as you can see just kind of pushing down into this area of the chart and then beyond that point well I think we're likely going to come down into here and maybe test that upside trend now keeping in mind we're still very elevated above our 50-day moving average and the more we elevate the higher the danger of a potential pullback so kind of keep that in mind we're very very stretched here in this move to the upside so be really careful with this fear of missing out uh, a desire to chase to the upside here um, because a pullback could begin at any time if we take a look at our spy gonna say pretty much the same thing about the spy new record highs breaking out pushing to the upside everything is copacetic there we're very very happy with tech particularly uh, the tech giants um, a lot of buying <coughs> in there yesterday pushing those to the upside if we see any bearish activity at all you can see the uh, we've got blue sky above so no resistance up there if we see any bearish activity maybe look for a pushback that would maybe come into half of that candle and if that were to fail then I would suggest coming back down into this price support to retest that area here um, beyond that we've got a little price support right through here as you can see we could catch if we continue to push on lower and that would engage this upside trend here in the chart um, and then remember it would take a pretty substantial push to the downside and certainly possible to take us back to that 200 day moving average because we are very very stretched away from that if we take a look at our qqq similar situation we need to get rid of this because that no longer exists here um, full breakout here in the qqq um, record highs uh, coming into play so if those bears were to find um, inspiration here um, a pushback maybe again in the middle of that candle um, and then we would pro probably push down to the lower side of that candle to test these price support areas in the chart remember if we uh, break down below there however we have a little bit of a gap that we could fill so gapping down or pushing down um, in there would be a possibility that brings us into this little uptrend uh, potential test Failing beyond that, maybe down into here, looks like a possibility. You notice that that runs across these support levels right in here. So watch that closely. Once again, very elevated from our 50-day moving average. So we have to be watching for that potential pullback at any time to begin um, from this extended period. Um, um, look at the markets and then Russell IWM made a run up here and smacked its head into this major multi-year resistance area here in the chart and then just stopped stopped right there and couldn't quite find the energy to push on through if it can well this is the only one that has um, you know resistance levels above we're gonna have to first deal with this area in the chart and see if we can push through there if we can push through there then we're probably going to start testing some of these tops um, that we had here recently in um, IWM and then up into here once we get up past there if we can hold that'll be the question if we can hold above that area um, <clears throat> we're going to be dealing with these resistance levels that are all the way over here in 2021 and 2022 in the chart if the bears were to find inspiration today and push us down well um, pushing us down into here would probably come through and test the lower side of that candle and maybe that little tiny gap that's in there beyond that we'll be testing this um, upside trend and some support right in here and then of course if that were to fail we're probably right back down here testing this area that we've been bouncing around here for quite a while so watch that carefully here in the Russell and 
um, for time, um, we are still very extended away from our 50-day moving average in the short term. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX dropped hard yesterday, and as a matter of fact, just you know, suggesting there's no fear in the market. We're coming very, very close to these recent lows here of last December. Um, when we were in just extremely um, bullish in the market. So um, we're probably running into a bit of a complacency situation here where we're pushing that fear so low. Um, what that kind of means is everybody, everybody that's going to be in the market is in the market. Um, and pushing in corporate buybacks um, can certainly keep this going to the upside. But we'll want to watch that pretty closely because if we do stumble in any way, um, a pullback um, could occur at any time. So be prepared for that possibility um, here in the market. Now, if we take a look at our uh, T2122, this is where you can see that very extended condition. We ended up closing up yesterday at 95.44% of the T2122 indicator. Now that doesn't necessarily mean we get an immediate drop, but we are seeing um, a little bit of weakness here this morning in our futures. Um, just not weakness, just light price action here in our futures because we just simply um, may be running out of energy to move to the upside. We'll wanna watch that pretty carefully. Um, if we do have a little bit of upside bump, well, we've got or five points that we can go here to the upside in the T2122. And if the bears find inspiration, we've got a huge downside opportunity for the bears if they do engage. So be kind of careful chasing stocks that are already extended to the upside. If we take a look at our T2108, <clears throat> um, the percentage of stocks above the 40 day moving average, they continue to move up yesterday and looking good. Remember we were worried about this 50% area here. Now we're um, nicely above that 50% area here in the chart and we're up here testing these next resistance levels in that chart. We will want to keep in mind we're coming into this downtrend and being super extended here in the market. Watch some of these resistance levels up here for that possible pullback but the bulls are clearly in control in the market. And even if they were to pull back, we've got some good support levels here to hold us in any pullback in the market. Same thing is really true on T2107. Bulls are clearly in control. We're pushing back up here to some resistance levels in the chart. We we'll wanna keep in mind, once we start reaching these 65 areas um, in um, T2107, we become very frothy. And you can see we have struggled with this area up here for um, some time trying to push through that area, showing that we're just um, extremely bullish at the moment. So this also kind of signals that worry that at any time a pullback could begin. So be prepared for that possibility. Now, um, we've got good support areas. If the the bears were to do anything here um, at all, so I don't think it would be a major problem. Just a resting pullback is probably what we need in those indexes. And then if we take a look at our <coughs> T2101, well, here's where we kind of struggled yesterday. Although we were zooming to the upside, I want you to notice that there wasn't a lot of buy breadth coming into the market. We did hook to the upside and that's good news and you can see we're kind of following this upside trend here on that breadth and um, my guess is that a good portion of that move yesterday was in the corporate buybacks pushing things to the upside and particularly big tech but <clears throat> you can see there just wasn't a whole lot of energy um, in that bullish move yesterday on the breadth indicator. And if we look back at um, some of our stocks here, um, and let's push this back, and we start looking at some of these indexes, our volumes did come up at the end of the day, 
but through the day they were really weak really lethargic in that move and that's why i think a good portion of what happened yesterday was corporate buybacks trying to push things up because it really came in the volumes came in right at the end of the day um here let me go to like a 10 minute chart when the dark pool activity starts coming in you can see volume throughout the day very lethargic and then it shot up here right at the end of the day and you'll see that on the spy dark pool heavily coming in so i think it was um, corporate buybacks that made the biggest part of that move yesterday let's take a look <coughs> at some oh first off let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today our economic calendar is uh, another busy one here first thing this morning we are going to be um um, taking a look at um, housing market starts here this morning keep an eye on that um, probably no major surprise consensus is suggesting that those are going to push on higher here it would be interesting to see if that is actually the case with rates being relatively high but watch that closely jobless claims they're expecting those to stay very moderate here around 220,000. Remember, I think if we're going to experience any chance that we're going to reduce rates anytime soon, we're going to need to see those jobless claims really come up. Um, I keep thinking there's going to be a surprise on that one of these days. Watch that one closely. Um, Philly Fed manufacturing numbers will be in, and of course, our Philly Fed has not been doing well. Um, they're looking for this to come in half of what it was last time, a little bit less than half. Um, we've got import export prices, expecting both of those to decline, to decline today, so keep an eye on that. And then industrial production, they're looking at industrial production in a declining situation here in the consensus this morning. So again, weakness in the consumers is starting to show up in some of these numbers. Market is ignoring it at the at the moment, but we'll have to watch that pretty closely. Now, keeping in mind, we've got Bar, we've got Barkin, we've got a natural gas report, we've got Hawker that will be speaking today. We've got a couple of bill auctions and then we're going to have Mester, we're going to have Bostic here toward the end of the day and our Fed balance sheet um, after the bell. And then looking into Friday, we've got some more Fed speak, leading indicators, um, e-commerce, retail sales will be in there and the Baker Hughes rig count going into Friday. If we take a look at our earnings calendar today, guys, <clears throat> I'm going to give you um, um, a list because I didn't get to that blog. Let me zoom that up a little bit. You can take a screenshot here. <clears throat> this morning we've got uh, Walmart, WMS, um, Canadian Goose, John Deere, um, Lightspeed, Nice, and um, Under Armour, UAA reporting. Um, after the bell today we've got um, Applied Materials, Cop Art, DOCS, DXC, um, Flowers Foods, and Take Two Interactive. So um, kind of keep an eye on um, those reports here for today. Um, as a matter of fact, Walmart has just come out with its numbers. It looks like Walmart is pushing to the upside here this morning. So nice little pop there to add to the bullishness in the market here from Walmart. Watch that one closely. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if um, this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me that favor, if um, you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor and then click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to grow. I said something about that yesterday about it being um, monotonous, but and, and just got the <clears throat> most kindest um, responses back yesterday. Um, I truly, truly appreciate the kind support to this channel. Um, you guys are um, awesome. Thank you so much. I do try to do the best job I can for everyone here and um, it is one of the things that drives me to continue to do what I do because um, I get um, I get more out of helping other people 
um, improve their trading these days than um, <clears throat> even uh, when you know um, my wins in the market um, because I truly truly enjoy it so thank you everyone for the kind support <clears throat> let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up for today and remember everyone they're not recommendations to buy or sell any security you need to do your own due diligence be very very careful in the market and make sure you're paying close attention to the risks and the extension that we have in this market it's really easy to have a good intention when you're looking at charts like this that yeah i'm going to be really careful and not chase it into an already extended stock and then as soon as the market opens and all that emotion fires up then we find ourselves falling right back into those bad habits chasing stocks and that ends up hurting us in the long run so be very very careful here first off let's take a quick look at what we've got going on <clears throat> Here in our U.S. dollar, our dollar uh, fell pretty sharply yesterday, and it's continuing to show some weakness here today, pulling down. So if you notice right in here, we have now started a downtrend here and officially started a downtrend because we made a lower low in our U.S. dollar. As the U.S. dollar weakens, we can expect to continue to see things um, like precious metals and commodities moving to the upside. So keep an eye on this really bullish move here in gold yesterday. And you could take a look at gold. You could take a look at any of the components of, of gold mining out there. There's a lot of bullish charts. Newmont Mining setting up. Uh, Berry Gold looking good. Um, Royal Gold looking really strong. KGC. Um, beautiful upside moves here in the gold um, market. You can even go into um, many of the mining ETFs like uh, GDX, GDXJ. <clears throat> we could look at um, silver, of course. Uh, silver had a big push yesterday. Um, keep a close eye on that. If it can't follow through to the upside, uh, as we come into this resistance, look for this to kind of rest or consolidate and then find that next opportunity there in, in silver. If the dollar continues to weaken, expect these to continue to move up. As you remember, I have been mentioning Alcoa and Alcoa made that nice pop through this resistance. It's resting here after that move. It can't really find any sellers here as the dollar weakens. There's a little bit of price resistance here that we're respecting and dealing with but watch for that next opportunity to come into this where you may be coming into that trend here in the next few days and watching for that next potential move to the upside on alcoa i'm going to say the same here in freeport uh, on copper nice strong move here on copper moving to the upside rest or pull back in here continues to set up an opportunity there and then of course um, if we take a look at anything in that copper sector it's looking pretty good um, i mentioned palladium palladium had a really big day yesterday pushing up this hasn't been all that bullish of a chart we've been struggling in here um, pushing back down but we made that higher low right here in palladium since then we've been making that move back to the upside breaking through this resistance any rest or pullback now i'd keep an eye on that for that next setup to the upside and once again i said any commodity so when we take a look at things like grain commodities corn um, continuing to move in this upside trend although it did rest yesterday I would look for this um, as an opportunity to find this next potential entry here into corn. Could pull back more. Watch for that next potential entry. I'm going to say the same thing um, uh, for soybeans. Um, showed a nice little hammer pattern in there yesterday. Tried to go down, really pushed up on that weakening dollar. Keep an eye on this. It may have to rest all the way out here to trend. I wouldn't be all that surprised about that if it has to consolidate in here for a while longer. But watch carefully for that next opportunity to the upside. Weed has more of a, um, a inspiration here because of the way things are going in the Ukraine. Um, not good. And it's disrupting uh, grain 
uh, production, grain supplies, over, <coughs> excuse me, and wheat is a huge export out of Ukraine. Well, we're running into, um, you know, more evidence that, um, um, statements anyway, from Vladimir Putin that uh, they're advancing on all fronts now in Ukraine. So watch that carefully here, showing a little bit of bullishness this morning, that possibility that this could go ahead and pop on through. Um, and the good news in this is there's good setups in these commodities. The bad news is as these go up, we can probably expect our food prices to go up as well, um, adding more pressure to inflation. So watch that closely. And then of course, if we look at energy, energy is usually pretty famous for rallying in a <clears throat> weak dollar situation. If you think about why that occurs, um, when the dollar weakens, it just takes more dollars to buy the same amount of product. So watch that closely here, even though we um, um, have a little bit of weakness starting out this morning, we still have that potential that uh, our weakening dollar could inspire some buying in here. And you'll notice here in XLE, we broke, kind of slipped through that downtrend here in the chart, holding this price support with a little hammer yesterday. So look for that opportunity. If that hammer can follow through for that upside move in some of these energy stocks, I would be watching those pretty closely. <clears throat> Let's take a look. Um, I had mentioned NVIDIA. Sorry for clearing my throat again there, guys. I truly um, apologize. Um, NVIDIA, I mentioned yesterday, it was a really good setup to the upside, uh, popped running up here, and as you can see, coming into a potential downtrend uh, or a resistance area in the chart. The way <coughs> corporate buybacks are going, the, the massive levels that are happening here, every reason to believe that that could push on through to new record highs in NVIDIA. Take a look at Apple. Um, you know, that <coughs> $110 billion record um, corporate buyback going on in here seemed to really inspire this to push up here to this next level of price resistance in the chart. Now, don't be surprised if it has to rest against this. But I wouldn't also be surprised that the corporate buybacks be, would be strong enough to just pump, pump us right through that resistance in the chart here in Apple. Keep an eye on that. Now, AMD, I had a lot of questions from members in the room about AMD yesterday. <clears throat> and while this has really shaped up a big, plus, big push um, yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, and we have an inverted head and shoulders pattern <clears throat> starting to show here on that chart. So I would watch that carefully. We have filled the gap here now. So any rest consolidation against this price resistance here in the chart that runs back across over here, any rest consolidation or pullback in here may set up an opportunity <clears throat> there for AMD. So keep a close eye on that. Also, I would really suggest <clears throat> that we keep a close eye on some of these stocks that are coming up out of bottoms. Take a look at Johnson & Johnson. Rather than chasing high flyers, I tend to be the guy that looks for these old boring companies in here. I don't have to risk as much money on them. And you can see Johnson & Johnson, um, nice little pattern in here, breaking through some resistance levels. You can see coming back up into that 50-day moving average. It may have to rest here for a little bit, but I would watch that carefully. Very, very strongly sold off overall and trying to come back around. Another one would be uh, Pfizer in that same area. And I have a little bias here. I am holding a long-term position here in Pfizer that's um, really looking good here at the moment. Any rest or pullback here, I think, could set up an opportunity. And um, notice we're back above that 50 day and continue to stretch here to the upside. So watch that closely. Now, I'm going to mention Rivian. Um, Rivian, you probably heard that news that Rivian was um, getting some, um, some kind of um, work on, uh, investment from um, Apple as well. 
and we had this nice little pop-up. Um, I got into a trade on this on this day and, and took a trade off for 32% gain in just a single day. Um, watching this pullback here, if we can continue to hold this trend and hold this support here in the chart, um, look for that next opportunity because we may have just hit a little bit of volatility in that and um, that possibility that could turn around with the very bullish market that we're in right now watching stocks like this coming up off of these 50-day moving averages um, looks like a possibility you can see we've got this little moving average squeeze um, setting up here in that area as well so I would watch that close these lines that I've got drawn in here this was a demonstration uh, the other day of um, entries and um, stops and things like that so don't pay attention to those now that's past that price action that was in there but keep a close eye on something like Rivian you might also want to be keeping a close eye on things like 3M um, a really, really strong to the upside, any resting pullback. And you could look at Altria. You could look at uh, Philip Morris. Um, you could take a look at Coke. Take a look at PepsiCo. There's been a lot of um, these old, boring um, defensive sector companies showing um, some bullishness. Mondelez is still trying to figure out if it can break through in this inverted head and shoulders pattern here on Mondelez. So keep an eye on that. Take a look at AT&T making some nice moves. Um, Verizon trying to make some moves in here, crossing through some resistance. So would be worth um, paying pretty close attention to those as well. I, I'm going to have to throw in some of the financials here. Visa uh, broke that downtrend, made a really nice pop here yesterday to the upside. That's a very, very bullish pattern. Keep an eye on that. MasterCard showing that same type, not quite as clean, not quite as beautiful, but an opportunity there, inverted head and shoulders pattern on um, MasterCard as well. So I've run this video a little bit long because there are just so many stocks here to pay attention to, so many things moving around. But um, I need to cut this video off um, probably for as much as my voice so that you don't have to listen to it any longer. I want to wish you all a fantastic day on this Thursday. Be careful, be safe, have a great day. Watch some of these data points coming out this morning. It is possible we could continue to see inter or morning whipsaws on uh, here today. Um, pretty, uh, I would say pretty likely actually, because we're seeing them about every day. And watch for that possibility at any moment in time that we could start catching that little bit of pullback from this extension. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. And as always, I wish you all the very, very best.